The last three years of war have shown no mercy to either side. The bitter fighting continues across Europe over land, sea, and air, leaving behind mountains of casualties and many more broken souls. The United States till now had remained neutral, but the mounting economic pressure and the return of Germany to unrestricted submarine warfare finally awakes the sleeping giant. On April 6, 1917, the United States declares war on Germany. Within months of the declaration, the U.S. Army launched the first Universal Draft, and despite enduring segregation in their own country, over 360,000 African Americans enlist, eager to show their patriotism in hopes of returning home as heroes. James is one of these men. Dear Brother James, I hope this letter finds you well and that working at the docks is not too backbreaking. It's good to receive news from you and from home. Keeps my mind off of the war. We wallow in the trenches, in the mud among the rats and the dead bodies, afraid that if we stand tall, we might catch a bullet. But if you take anything from my letter, I want it to be this. Do whatever you can to stay away from this madness. You followed me everywhere when we were kids. But please, don't follow me here, James. There is nothing here but misery and death. Be safe and stay home. Freddy. Temporary dog! <laughs> No! Pop! 
dear Freddy, it's good to hear from you. Sorry to disappoint, but it looks like I'm following you around again. I've already enlisted with the 15th New York National Guard Regiment, or the old 15th, as they call us. We're done with our training and on our way to the front. We'll sail from New York to France. We're on our way to help you win the war. But don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself just fine. Your little brother, James. April 9th, 1917, Vimy Ridge. This geographic stronghold, held by the Germans since the early days of the war, remained impenetrable. In the latest attempt to break through the German defenses, ground forces were ordered to team up with the British Royal Flying Corps. Before launching the attack, the soldiers were given a moment to write to their loved ones. Aim! Interrupted by George's unconventional landing, Freddy soon learned that his unit was going to take part in the operation and be paired up with the peculiar British pilot, now grounded and without a plane to fly. Ten hut! Oh! Ready?
Yeah. 